Hello guys, Yami Yusaku here today, and I'm going to be talking about my reaction to Kiru's death in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, and in the nature of a true reaction video, I haven't really given a ton of thought to what I'm going to say, I'm just going to jump right into it, so sorry if it's a little bit disorganized. Okay, let me start by saying, I think Kiru's death is one of the best antagonist handled deaths I've seen in Yu-Gi-Oh! so far, and that's coming from somebody who's seen all of Duel Monsters, all but like the last 8 or so episodes of Zexal, because I've been having some issues streaming them lately, off of Yu-Gi-Oh's website, and about half of GX, and my gosh, it was well handled, you know, just because he was given such an amazing backstory that first time that he's introduced to Yusei, and Yusei recognizes him, and then they start to go into how they were sort of this dual gang, so to speak, who were, I guess the way I'm taking it at least, these sort of, uh, what's the word, um, vigilante types for satellite that went around taking care of the negative duelists by destroying their duel discs or the villainous duelists i should say and together they had managed to black out that whole map making themselves the dominant ones of the area who were i guess they were kind of fighting for justice that was the way i would take it primarily based off seeing yusei's nature but anyway there was that such a strong bond and then all we see is that little scene with of Kiru with blood on his hands the first time, and that built up so much suspense that you thought he had done something like truly savage and went completely off the rails. And then we get the rest of the story later when Yusei goes back to duel him again, and it turns out that, yeah, he did injure somebody, but it wasn't quite as bad as we thought. He sort of lost it after he got consumed by his ambition to completely conquer Satellite, as he keeps saying by taking on security and then he injures this one guy i mean it it was much less sadistic than it was initially shown in the scene but it's incredible how it turns out you say didn't turn him into law enforcement the way those initial clips showed us as him having done he sacrificed himself to save kiro yet kiro didn't understand that because of the way the scene was handled and just i gotta give it to him they did a really good job making it so you were fooled as much as Kiru was into thinking, yeah, maybe Yusei did actually betray him. Um, and then the greatest part was after Yusei wins the duel um, against Kiru, Kiru's words back were something along the lines of, I just couldn't hate you enough, Yusei. And then he just kind of smiles because he's, you know, finally warmed up and realized what Yusei truly did. And... I think that's kind of a testament to how people sometimes get consumed by their anger at a situation and look for a scapegoat. And so Kiru was blinded by his anger and kept blaming Yusei because it was a he thought it would make him feel better, having somewhere to vent outwards to. When in reality, Yusei wasn't the one he was necessarily angry with. Yeah, he thought Yusei betrayed him, but it was more so just generally being fed up with his situation and he tried to take it out on Yusei. And then in the end, he realized... No, that wasn't quite the case. I think the most impactful line upon his death, which his death nearly had me in tears, which is one of the many moments from 5Ds. I'm just reacting to this specific one because I thought it was so well handled as I'm watching 5Ds for the first time. His, you know, his second set of lines that was really impactful was to you say, um, and the other deal I made with the Dark Signers when I agreed, or the other wish I had was just to have one final duel with Team Satisfaction. And that kind of hits home because it it shows how much he really did care for them the whole time. He just got caught up in everything. And I think it lends itself well to this theme that was shown in the duel before with Bomer that they're getting abused by the dark um the dark signers or a lot of them are getting used by whoever's in charge of this. I don't know yet because like I said, I'm watching it for the first time. And they're being fed this thing of their anger consuming them. And that's being encouraged, and just Kiro is honestly probably the saddest death of any main antagonist I've seen, if you even want to call him a main antagonist. And I just, I, I can't believe what's coming in for 5Ds. I don't want to speak a whole lot more generally, because I plan on doing a 5Ds reaction video once I'm done Season 1. Okay, thanks for tuning in.